Sometimes the teams at the top of the NHL draft cycle don't always win the day. A great scouting team can do a world of wonder no matter where a specific team is placed on the selection list. It's exactly why scouts spend so much of their time dedicated to filling out draft boards for all seven rounds. A lot of young talent has emerged from the second round and beyond. Prospects selected there are becoming more and more critical to the farm system in the modern-day NHL. Teams obviously never want to waste a pick. There are a ton of stories of players being selected in very late rounds who turn out to become NHL superstars. Take a look at Pekarine, for example, who was selected in the 8th round of the 2004 NHL entry draft only to turn out to be an elite goalie in today's game. Of course, there's more variability to later round selections. Most top-end picks are thrown right into an NHL lineup where they have a good chance to thrive. Lower prospects don't get to experience that luxury, meaning they will likely have to through a ton of development. A lot can happen during years of development, but in all, it's a risk well worth taking for some players and clubs. If developed well, selections in the later rounds can be critical to having a very successful youth system. That's why this piece will try and cover some hidden gems in the later rounds of the draft. Prospects and youth are super important in the modern game, so they need to be covered well, too. Poprod, Slovakia, April 23, 2017, rushes Danila Galunyak, L, and Mark Rubinchik pose with their trophy at a ceremony to award the 2017 IIHF World U18 Championship bronze medals as they win their ice hockey match against Sweden 3-0 at the Poprod Ice Stadium. Elena Rusko, task photo by Elena Rusko, task via Getty Images, Vanila Galenyuk is projected to go in the early fourth or late third round of the draft. The Russian can be thankful for his boost on the draft board after a great season for him that came with some silverware. Clubs that need help with big-bodied defensemen should give Galenyuk a shot. The defender comes in at 212 pounds, and he has some great attributes to go along with that. Galenyuk is not the type of player to jump up in the play too often. He's a low-risk, stay-at-home type of defenseman who likes to move the puck to his forwards. With his size, supporters will most often see him parked in front of the net to block shots or clear the crease. The 18-year-old doesn't have a lot to show in terms of stats, but he has a lot of experience to back himself up. At such a young age, Galenyuk is already signed with Ska Street. Petersburg for next season, and he's already previously played three contests there with players such as Ilya Kovalchuk. Internationally, Galenyuk recently came out with a World Junior Championship with the U18 Russian side where he posted two assists in seven contests. Galenyuk won't need any further development soon as he signed with Ska in the KHL. He'll be gaining some more pro experience and then from there, we could see Galenyuk in the all to hone his skills before going pro. Page 2 Use your arrows to browse Grand Forks, ND, February 10th, University of North Dakota goalie Peter Tomey, 1, is congratulated by University of North Dakota defenseman Matt Kirsted, 3, and University of North Dakota defenseman Josh Rieger, 20, for a win after a college hockey game between the University of North Dakota and Colorado College on February 10, 2018 at Ralph Engelstead Arena in Grand Forks, North Dakota. North Dakota defeated Colorado College 5-1, photo by Nick Wasika, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images. At the moment, it looks as if Johnny Tycona could fall in the early portion of the second round, so it would be a race for which team could land him first. Even though Tyconic is a defenseman, it's his offensive awareness that completes his game. The 18-year-old has amassed over 20 assists for three seasons of his career while coming off a 40-point campaign with Penticton Bees in the BCHL. Tyconic loves to jump forward to provide a passing outlet for forwards who may be jammed in the neutral zone. The Canadian is good at dumping in and getting off the ice when he's supposed to. Tyconic can stand in front of the net to block shots while using his rather active stick to clog passing lanes. 
However, his size disables him from getting physical unless he absolutely has to. Board play and battles in front of his own cage don't look to be a strength right now. Excited to announce my commitment to play college hockey at Undam Hockey. Thank you to family, friends and coaches for the support. The NCAA will get another chance to produce some great talent with Tykonik as he is locked with the University of North Dakota for next year, which isn't a bad choice at all. Use your arrows to browse.